everyone, my name is Michelle Bratton and I am a nutrition educator with the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society and ProPoint Nutrition Services. I am here today with my friend Gregory Proctor. Gregory, introduce yourself to us. Hi Michelle, thank you very much. I'm Gregory Proctor, I'm a multiple myeloma survivor. Thank you for joining us today. Well, thank you for having me. I'm looking forward to this delicious recipe that we're All getting right. ready to make. Well, today we're going to start off with a really, really simple um, breakfast choice. Um, just, it's an overnight pumpkin oat recipe. And so I'm gonna show you how to make it. We've done a little bit of the measuring out. So I'm gonna start with a, either a mason jar or um, some kind of uh, food storage container. And I have a half a cup of old fashioned oats measured out. I'm gonna put that in, okay? Now Gregory's going to kick in here and help me. He's going to add a half a cup. I have almond milk here, but you can use cow's milk, mm -hmm. you can use soy milk. Then I'm going to put in two tablespoons of pumpkin puree. Okay. And then I'm going to have you put in a teaspoon of that pumpkin pie spice. Absolutely. Lots of good cinnamon and nutmeg in there. And then also you have some nuts there. Go ahead and put them in about a tablespoon of nuts. So maybe a couple, couple spoonfuls of that. Sure thing. Smells the yummy. Does it? Now you can sweeten this a little bit. We have some maple syrup here. If you'd like to sweeten it slightly, all you would really need would be about a teaspoon of maple syrup. I'm going to let Gregory do that. I'm going to give you that job, Gregory. Alrighty. Okay. Thank you. All right. Okay. All right. So we'll cap that back. Now I'm going to give you the, the big job of mixing it all up. Okay. We're going to put our lid on pretty tightly so we don't have a mess. Okay. And go ahead and shake it up, Gregory. <laughs> so um, then we're going to take this and it, obviously, it's overnight oats, so we're going to put it in the refrigerator overnight, okay? And we did do this earlier, so this is what the overnight oats will look like when it's finished. So we're going to open that up. I have a couple things here you can add for a serving idea. You could add a little bit of mm -hmm. yogurt. Some yogurt will okay. add a little bit of protein to it. You can also add, for a little bit of interest, you could add some, um, I have some dried cranberries okay. here, or craisins, so you can add those to it too. Well, Absolutely. thank you for joining us today, Gregory. We really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. So you can find this recipe on our website, lls.org forward slash nutrition.